going on you guys I'd like to welcome you guys to another one take review i mean whoa another dc tv talk episode 30 part two this is a uh, cover of flash from black lightning uh just yeah let's just get right into it because flash has been on break for like three weeks now and i actually be really been looking forward to this episode because you had kevin smith directing it which is probably one of my favorite people on the planet <laughs> uh I haven't met him yet, but I know Kevin Smith was directing it. And this episode, you have, like, a conflict between Barry and uh, Ralph, who are pretty much keep, they keep butting heads because Barry is trying to take everything seriously. And that's pretty much not Ralph's character. Like, he makes inappropriate, he makes jokes at inappropriate times. That's just his character. That's just who he is. And Barry was trying to get him, kind of to be more like him. And, and to me, it's kind of be like, Barry, like, calm down, bro. Like, you, you're not Arrow, you know, like, be a, be a little more playful, you know, you, you always, you don't have to be so sad and mad all the time, like, you're a little more joyous, you know, cause that's, that's the Flash, you know, the Flash is, that's why the Flash and, 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 and Long Gator Man work so well together because they're kind of similar, even though Long Gator Man is pretty much more inappropriate but flash has made some inappropriate comments in, in times of crisis and stuff I, I need to see that i need to see him get into that more we got this like a little bit of everything we got cisco dealing with breacher he can't use his powers anymore because he's old i'm not gonna lie listen let me be honest my favorite part of this episode was seeing jay and silent bob because <laughs> you, if you don't know jay is out of bob so it might not just matter to you but it's kevin smith jason you the scene they were two security guards and, and the stuff got away and you wonder like why n <laughs> kevin smith never talked because solid bob had a long trench coat i said this is this is everything i needed those parts was funny as hell my boy jason Mewes worried about losing his job they done broke ralph made him break a forty thousand dollar uh vase or whatever it was boss vase i don't know what the fuck and we have this girl who, ooh, who, who was pretty smart with has the ability to like make a pe make people float, and then just like, oh, she's flown off, and and, but she was one thing, but the biggest thing in this episode to me, them capturing her again, her uh, 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 stowed away was good, but I think the, the episode was mainly about Flash coming to terms with how Ralph is and his character and the way. He, the way he does things his certain way but it works for him you know what I'm saying? everything he, he he he's not that serious character so him playing that how he would works for him and that's how he get things done but the but the biggest thing for me was devote and his wife and he's been drugging her with the guy's tears to keep her in love with him and she keep falling out my i think that's going to come to play in the end i think she took a precautionary measure that he was not expecting and she's gonna realize that like oh he's been drugging you and, and i know it because it, they've done it multiple times but i think one of those times she's done something to where she's going to realize that he's been drugging her and he gonna she gonna leave him because his, his mind isn't thinking as well as it was before and i think that's because of all the bodies all the the black matter that's going to him he's he's not the same and so i think it's gonna eventually it's gonna fuck him up and especially it's gonna be it's gonna be a time where she, it's gonna be the time when his wife realizes what's going on and also it's gonna be it's gonna interfere with him being fucked up in the head I, i'm kind of hoping they start to you know, because everything's here, and I'm kind of hoping they start to bring it together. Now, it seems like next episode they do bring it together. So uh, I, I, I'm just wondering where does it, uh, where does it go? But what was I want to know what his plan was from the beginning. That's what I really want to know. And, and and why did he need all these medals with these certain type of powers? Hopefully, it, I, they have to make it make sense, and not just the fact that he was just grabbing different random bodies. You know, because he has. A lot of different people in him. I think it was seven or eight medals in him, but that has to make sense for the the, the final plot line, you know. Uh, but I don't think they would keep showing the fact of his wife, you know, what I'm saying being being like uh, 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 pushing against what he's doing, and not something with that doesn't like come to fruition or or or, 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 or has a big 
big a story into it. I have to see, but I really think that that's going to play a big part in the final episode with how the Flash and them defeat him. You know, that's just that's just my thought. But a pretty good, pretty good episode. It was funny to me. It's more, it's kind of like a fillery, but you still got some stuff that that were were some key elements to uh, other plot lines. So I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it.